What up YouTube, your boy Mr. Instagram here, it's like a little airport schedule update for the American version as you can probably tell. Um, and really it's just nothing, no news, no nothing. I uh, hope you saw my previous video of the unboxings of the new aircraft I got. Uh, if you didn't please go check that one out. Um, but yeah, let's crack on with the update. It's got the expansion and it's a very busy time of day so it's going to take quite a while. Okay, so runway 20 is in use and just rotating we have a Emirates A380. This is going out to Dubai. And I'm going to start from the hold short, then go down to Alpha, down to Charlie, then back round um, in a circular motion through the expansion. Okay, so holding short, uh, runways 2 zero. we've got an American 777, this is going off to London Heathrow. Uh, behind that we've got a Delta 777, this is... Go this is um, right, I've got a little time to take on my phone, I'm just trying to find it, it doesn't really make much sense. Um, we have a Delta Triple Seven uh, going off to Tokyo and Rita. Um, so yeah, let's go to Alphas. Okay, going into Alpha One just arrived. We've got a Tam A330. This is just coming from San Paolo. Um, Alpha Two, we've got a Korean A380 just fueling up. Uh, this aircraft will be heading out to Seoul, uh, South Korea. Uh, Alpha 3, uh, just boarding, we have a Air New Zealand 747-400 and uh, this will be going out to Auckland uh, in a short while when it's completed boarding um, Bravo 1, um, oh shit, just move the terminal uh, let me just uh, shit, okay, okay that's better um, okay, Alpha 1, it's a massive stretch over to there um, just deboarding, we've got a United Express uh, Q400. Uh, this is just this is this is just arrived from Denver. Uh, next to that, we have a Continental 757, which of course I'm using as a uh, United 75. Um, it's got it's just getting being cleaned, but this aircraft will be going out to Houston, Houston George Bush International. Um, then go okay, there. Uh, just being pushed back from Bravo Four. Uh, we've got a US Airways 757, uh, just going off the St. Martin. Uh, Bravo 5, let me get round, there we go. Shit, just moving everything out of the way. Uh, Bravo 5, we've got a Delta uh, 737 900. Uh, this aircraft is heading out to. Yeah, hang on, I forgot to bring my phone with me. Um, this aircraft is heading out to. Um, uh, Minneapolis St. Paul. Uh, the next to that in Bravo 6, uh, just getting food on board. We got a Virgin America A320. Uh, this will be heading out to San Francisco when it's uh, ready and boarded. And if you couldn't tell, this is the America. This is the time of day when we get an American push. Uh, so really, out all the American aircraft are out. Um, of course, boarding uh, as it is the push. We got an American Eagle ERJ145. Uh, it's heading off to New York LaGuardia. There we go. Um, just being pushed back from Charlie 2. Uh, we've got an American 767. Uh, this is heading out to Los Angeles. Oh shit. Uh, the last time the paint fell off. Um, it was just holding up this board, so that's just going to be slightly lower. Uh, but oh well, it's not going to tip down the airport. Um, in Charlie 4, we've got one of my new models. Uh, we've got the I can't really lean down at all, otherwise it would just tip. Um, we got my new model in Charlie 4, we got an American 737-800. Uh, the pushback tug is connected, but it's just going to wait for the 767 to uh, to go past for it to be pushed. Uh, safety, this aircraft will be heading out to... Oh, God. It's gone in... It's put itself on hold. Oh, shit. Um, this aircraft is heading out to... Uh, New York John F. Kennedy, so the Eagles operating operating LaGuardia uh, the Sun 38 is operating JFK and uh, then holding short, letting the Delta triple go past uh, we got an American um, MD-87 uh, going off the Dallas-Fort Worth and finally Charlie 3, we got a Qantas 747 um, just deboarding from a flight from Sydney ok, so the expansion um, the downward back right, uh, go around from Fox Rock to Delta. Um, holding short, uh, we've got a can zoom out now. Uh, holding short, we've got a Thai A340 600, and this aircraft's hanging out to Bangkok. Um, 
Then Foxtrot 1 is empty, that's where the tie was. Well, actually, actually I don't know what is in there. Oh, yeah, the tie was in there. Uh, Foxtrot 2, we've got a Swiss A330 heading out to Zurich. Uh, Foxtrot 3, uh, Turkish Airways um, A3, A330 going out to Istanbul. Foxtrot 5, um, of course, Foxtrot 4, the uh, EM Emirates 380 was in there. Uh, Foxtrot 5, we've got a FedEx MD11. Um, just decargoing um, from a flight from Portland um, we're going to Allegiant 57 taxi into the hold short uh, this aircraft is coming in from well it's going out to Vegas uh, Echo 1 uh, Cafe Pacific Cargo uh, 744 uh, just, de just getting cargo on board for a flight out to Hong Kong Echo 2 is empty, Echo 3 we've got in the FedEx ATR-72, uh, just arrived from, where's that, uh, just arrived from Memphis, um, of course that's generally a, a, not a daily flyer, so it's just more as a, um, about four times a week it goes to Memphis, the um, ATR-72, the 42 uh, goes to the other days covering it, so Memphis is a really high um, priority cargo. Um, Echo 4, we've got a UPS 767. Uh, where's that? UPS coming in from going out to Louisville. I kind of, after this point, I did really give up with the accessories because it was just taking ages to get them out. And of course, I don't have enough accessories uh, for the whole airport, which is quite annoying. But as soon as my printer's working, I can print all the terminal and stuff, all that decals and uh, so on. Also, I can start printing off some accessories. Uh, so I will be getting accessories in whenever they get a printer in, uh, which will be the main completion of the expansion when that happens. Um, just vacated, uh, we've got a Lufthansa A340-600, uh, just come in from Frankfurt. Uh, they'll be texting to standard Fox Rock 4. Um, okay, in the hangar we have my American 777. Uh, which of course you guys should know it is being painted into the new scheme uh, not very well uh, but it will be being painted into the new scheme and uh, then just being pushed out of the hangar it was in there for storage because it was a um, or it's in there for a little quick checkup. Uh, Spirit Airlines A319 uh, just being pushed out they'll be going to stand uh, Delta 4 when the, when the aircraft in there is just finished pushed uh, they'll be going into there um, it was it went into the hangar because it just had a um, the captain reported a minor problem, uh, so he just wanted that checked out. But of course, um, it would be too um, it would take too long on the stand for it to get checked out. So they pushed it into the hangar because I haven't really got. Uh, that's the only other aircraft. The Americans the only other aircraft in the hangar there, uh, because I haven't actually got that many American selection I can have in there um, at the moment. But hopefully I'll get some up. And uh, some aircraft that have gone out of service and so on. I'll stick in the hangar. Uh, but yeah, okay, Delta 1. Once again, I know this aircraft has gone out of service, but I recently got it. Um, it's gone out of service, Mexicana A320. Um, they went out in service in 2010, but it's really annoyed me that I got the model and I didn't do any research. The one time I don't do research on a model. Um, and it's not actually in service anymore, but I'm going to use it anyway, uh, because it's such a lovely little. Um, aircraft and this aircraft is heading out to Cancun. Uh, Delta 2 is empty and the Allegiant 75 is in there. Uh, Delta 3, we've got a Alaska 737-800. Uh, this will be going off to Anchorage uh, but stopping off in Seattle Tacoma, so Anchorage via Seattle. And uh, they're being pushed back from Delta 4. Uh, we've got a Selfless 737 uh, 700 in the Battleborn colours, of course, the classic tail. Um, this aircraft is going out to um, this aircraft going out to Vegas. Um, Delta Five. If we got a Air Canada seven six seven. Uh, this is a brand new service, first day of operations. It's just been fueled up. Yeah, it's going off to Toronto Pearson. Um, it's the hybrid livery because it's not completely uh, the like the blue, the very light, the ice blue color. Uh, the Norway Canada's are now, but I thought I'd chuck this in because it's. So now I've got two Air Canada services, one of a triple three uh, coming up from Vancouver and of course this 76 uh, from Toronto. And then finally in Delta 6, this is the aircraft I knocked around, uh, we've got a lot my lovely Aeromexico uh, 737 700 uh, going out to Mexico City. And um, but yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this American update. I only 
doing my best to get Call of Duty Ghosts gameplays out for you. Um, but I'm just getting, it's really annoying me because I don't have fear tonight, so I hear a really good game um, and then it completely goes to shit. Um, it, I hear a good game um, and forget to record it, so I've constantly got my PVR on recording. As you can see there, I've got my PVR constantly on record. Um, just a, unless I get a good game, a good streak, whatever, I can't go into fear tonight because there isn't one uh, to go pick it back up, which is really annoying me because I've got like 20, I've got like two hours worth of. Uh, footage on that I've got to go through which is really really annoying uh, but hopefully I'll get something out there eventually um, I'll probably do a compilation of just good good shots and stuff and could just give you guys my opinions on the game um, but yeah that's about it for the update well that is it for the update um, I hope you've enjoyed it um, I'll see you in the next one okay see you in the next one probably Tuesday of course UK as scheduled uh, so yeah I'll leave you a picture of this lovely cafe and uh, so yeah, okay guys, adios, bye.